When you think of old-fashioned recipes, I think of things that your mom would have made or your grandmother might have made and things that have fallen by the way that you don't see anymore at potluck meals or nobody talks about them. And this is one that I found from a friend that I work with. Um, she called it Watergate salad, but it's also known as ambrosia. So I'm going to call it ambrosia. But she kindly let me use her recipe, which I love that she wrote it out for me on a note card. do love that. So, and this is very easy to do. We're going to combine just our ingredients. Our first ingredient is one container of the whipped cream that you find in the freezer section of your supermarket. And that goes in. And this, this is a really cool salad. I think this would be nice around the holidays. It's light, it's not heavy, um, pretty color. Okay, so one container, that's in. And then I'm going to add the juice of the can of crushed pineapple that I have. Make sure you save the juice, that goes in. And then from that can, I have the crushed pineapple. This goes in. And then two packages of instant pistachio pudding. Well, now you see where the color's coming in. There's one and two. I actually had a hard time finding the instant, but it's out there. I'm gonna mix this first. Oh, see how pretty this is? Oh, in the right bowl at Christmas, St. Patty's Day, I don't care. I think it would be delicious anytime, but it is a pretty neat color. I'm gonna mix this up. Once I have it mixed, it's gonna go into the refrigerator and chill so it kind of firms up a little bit, but it smells really good. I think kids would love this too. And I bet if you wanted to swap out the pistachio pudding for another kind of pudding, I think that'd be okay too, if you like something else. Wouldn't be the same recipe, but it'd be good. All right, and then one cup chopped nuts. These are walnuts, very nicely chopped. And two cups mini marshmallows. And you have to kind of break them up. I smoosh mine into the container, so let's break them up a little bit. And that is it, truly. That's, this is the recipe. Um, I did do a little research on ambrosia, and if you look in the Joy of Cooking, Fanny Farmer, um, go online, you'll see that there's a lot of different variations. The one thing that seems constant in all of them is the pineapple. Um, a lot of them called, there was one with bananas. I don't know about that one. So I'm just gonna mix, mix, get it all put together, put it in the fridge, and then we'll be able to eat it. It's already getting thicker. That instant pudding is getting thick with the pineapple juice. So there you have it, my version of ambrosia into the fridge. The ambrosia has been in the refrigerator, chilling out, and now it's time to serve. This is one serving suggestion. I think one of these for a person would be lovely. If you had a lot of people for potluck, you could serve it out of a bowl. You could use bigger glasses, smaller glasses. I think this is pretty. We garnished it nicely with a fresh strawberry that's fanned out. And this is it, this is ambrosia. I hope you try it, it's a really fun salad recipe.